Good day grade 12s. My name is Viola from the Distinction Bound Student. I'd like to welcome you to lesson 36 from the Distinction Bound Student textbook written by Cardin Madzokir. As usual we start by revising homework activity 31 given in the previous lesson. Question 1. Discuss resources and technology as reasons for international trade. Labor resources are not the same everywhere. Some individuals have greater ability and aptitude for certain tasks. Some countries have developed and perfected a particular skill and aptitude for the production of a certain commodity, therefore their skills will be imported. Technology or capital is not always easily obtained in every country. Developed countries usually enjoy an advantage over underdeveloped countries. Due to lack of capital, countries cannot produce all products they wish to produce or developing countries import capital from developed countries. Let's get into the lesson. Today we will cover effects of international trade. We will start with appreciation of currencies. If more countries demand goods made in South Africa, they demand the South African rand, which causes it to appreciate. You know what happens when there is an increase in demand. The value of what is demanded goes up. In this case it's the value of the rand which goes up and we call it appreciation. Appreciation of a currency implies an increase in the value of the domestic currency relative to currencies of other countries due to market forces. Appreciation of a currency, exports will decrease and imports will increase. It will have a negative effect on the balance of payments, BOP. For example, a lower price or exchange rate reflects an appreciation of the local currency against the foreign currency. A fall in the rand slash dollar exchange rate from $1 equals 10 rand 51 cents to $1 equals 6 rand 36 cents therefore implies an appreciation of the rand against the dollar. Simply because we then need fewer rands to purchase the required amount of dollars. The second effect that we will look at is depreciation. This may happen if our country imports more than it exports. That way we demand more foreign currency and supply our currency. You know what happens to price when there is an increase in supply. Price goes down so in this case it's the value of the rand that goes down and we call it depreciation. Depreciation of a currency implies a decrease in the value of the domestic currency relative to the currencies of other countries due to market forces. Depreciation of a currency, exports will increase and imports will decrease. It will have a positive effect on the balance of payments, BOP. Example, a higher price or exchange rate reflects a depreciation of the local currency against the foreign currency. An increase in the rand slash dollar exchange rate from $1 equals 6 rand 11 cents to $1 equals 10 rand 51 cents therefore implies a depreciation of the rand against the dollar, because we will then need more rands to purchase the required amount of dollar. Next effect is specialization. Specialization can be applied to individuals, firms, machinery and technology, and to whole countries. International specialization is increased when countries use their scarce resources to produce just a small range of products in high volume. Up next is mass production. Mass production allows a surplus of good to be produced, which can then be exported. This means that goods and resources must be imported from other countries that have also specialized and produced surpluses of their own. The last effect is efficiency. When countries specialize, they are likely to become more efficient over time. This is partly because a country's producers will become larger and exploit economies of scale. Faced by large global markets, firms may be encouraged to adopt mass production and apply new technology. This can provide a country with a price and non-price advantage over less specialized countries, making it increasingly competitive and improving its chances of exporting in the future. As usual we conclude our lesson with homework activity 32 on page 68. Question 1. Give a clear distinction between appreciation and depreciation of a currency. 8 marks. That's it for today's lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, complete and no answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.